Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to build decision tree using ID3 algorithm. This is the solved example number 4. The link for other examples is given in the description below. In this example, we have been given a data set with the four attributes, age, income, student and credit rating. Buys computer is the target in this case. Given this particular data set, we need to build a decision tree using ID3 algorithm. And then we need to classify this new example into one of the class like yes or no over here. Now, if you want to build a decision tree using ID3 algorithm, the very first thing we need to do is uh, we need to identify one of these particular attribute as the root node and then we need to start building the tree. But among these uh, four uh, attribute, which one should be selected as a root node? That is a big question over here. So that can be answered with the help of information gain. So first we need to calculate the information gain of each and every attribute. The one attribute which is having the highest information gain that will become the root node in this case. So I will start with the first attribute now. The first attribute is age here. Now uh, what we need to do is uh, first we need to calculate the entropy of the whole data set. That is entropy of S is always equal to. We need to know how many number of yes examples are there and how many number of no examples in this particular case. So if we count here, we have nine yes examples and five no examples. So entropy of yes is equal to minus nine by 14. That is proportionate of uh, positive examples log proportionate of positive examples to the base two minus proportionate of uh, negative examples log proportionate of negative examples to the base two. So once you solve this particular equation, you will get 0.94 as the entropy in this case. Now, once you calculate the entropy of the whole data set, next we need to find the possible values for this particular age. So what are the possible values for this age is the first possible value is uh, less than or equivalent to 30. The second possibility is in the range of 31 to 40 and the third possibility is greater than 40 in this case. Now, how many number of uh, examples are there with less than or equivalent to 30? That is the first thing we need to find. So I will do one thing. I will mark them. So this is the first one, second one, third, fourth, and then fifth. So totally five examples are there. Out of five examples, how many of them are yes and how many of them are no, we need to identify. So this is no, this is no, uh, this one is no, this and this one is yes over here. So two yes are there, three no examples are there. Similarly, in the range of uh, 31 to 40, 31 to 40, if you see here, this is the first one we have, second one, third one, fourth one. So totally four examples are there and all four examples are, I think, the S only. You can see here, all the examples belongs to S here. So four S examples are there and zero no examples are there. And the third group is greater than 40. So greater than 40, you can see here, one, two, three, four, five. Out of five examples, first one is S, second one is S, third one is no and then uh, fourth one is yes and fifth one is no so two no examples are there and three yes examples are there here so once you get this particular thing we need to uh, calculate the entropy of this particular age so entropy of this particular age is calculated like the proportion uh, first we need to calculate the proportionate of uh, age uh, examples with age less than or equivalent to 30 this is the first possibility so that is uh, total number of examples are how many here 3 plus 2 that is 5 out of how many 14 examples here Similar, and then uh, we need to calculate uh, the entropy of this possibility that is 2s yes and 3 no examples. 2s yes means uh, out of 5, 2s uh, yes examples are there that is uh, minus 2 by 5 log 2 by 5 to the base 2 minus 3 total here that is 5, 3 by 5 log 3 by 5 to the base 2 here plus that is the next one. The number of examples with age in the range of 31 to 40 are 4 plus 0 that is uh, 4 out of 14 so that's the reason 4 by 14 here and then this one this one is the entropy of this particular age in the range of 31 to 40 now if you look at this particular uh, possibilities that are four yes examples are there and zero no examples so because we have only one set of examples that is only yes examples the entropy will become zero here so that's the reason i have written zero in this case now coming back to the third one that is age greater than equal to greater than 40 so in this case totally five examples are there so 5 by 14, that is the proportionate of these examples and this entropy that is 3s and 2 no is the proportionate of positive examples is totally 3 divided by 5 here log 3 by 5 to the base 2 minus 
2 by 5 log 2 by 5 to the base 2 here because we have 2 no examples out of 5 here and if you solve this particular thing you will get this equation and if you get, solve this further you will get 0.6935 as the uh, total entropy of this particular age and finally gain can be calculated as the total entropy or the to entropy of the whole data set minus the entropy of this particular age which will be equivalent to 0.2465 in this case now we will consider the second attribute the second attribute in this case is income the entropy of the whole data set remains same the possible values for income are high medium and low now how many number of high examples are there we need to check here so one two three and then uh, four high examples are there out of four first two are negative and this one and uh, this example is yes so two yes and two no examples are there similarly income is equal to medium one two three four five six examples are there out of that the first one is yes second one is no third fourth fifth are yes and sixth one is no so two no examples are there and four yes examples are there similarly uh, low examples one two three four four uh, examples are there out of that first one is yes second one is no third one is yes and uh, fourth one is yes here so there are three yes examples are there and one no example is present here now what we need to do is uh, we need to calculate the entropy of this particular income so how cal how to calculate entropy of income again the same thing so first uh, the proportionate of income is equal to high what is the proportionate here so 2 plus 2 that is 4 4 divided by 14 in this case the entropy of this part that is 2 yes and 2 no examples is uh, if you have equal number of uh, you can say that uh, the possibility is so definitely the entropy will be equal to 1 but still i have written here that is 2 divided by 2 plus 2 that is 4 2 by 4 log 2 by 4 to the base 2 minus this one is 2 so 2 by 4 log 2 by 4 to the base 2 over here now coming back to this one the proportionate of income is equal to medium how many are there 4 plus 2 6 so 6 divided by 14 here and then entropy of this particular part that is 4s and 2 no examples minus uh, 4s are there so totally 4 plus 2 6 so 4 by 6 log 4 by 6 to the base 2 minus 2 no examples are there 2 by 6 log 2 by 6 to the base 2 over here so this is done now we need to calculate entropy of income is equal to low so totally how many examples are there 3 plus 1 4 so 4 by 14 here of 3 plus 1 is 4 so 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 log 3 by 4 to the base 2 minus 1 by 4 log 1 by 4 to the base 2 over here now once you calculate this one uh, you will get this equation and if you solve it you will get the value as 0 0.9108 and uh, the gain of this particular income is always equal to the entropy of whole data set minus entropy of income that is what i have written here and this is what the gain you will get for income in this case similarly calculate the information gain for student as well as credit rating the information gain for student is uh, 0.1516 and credit rating is 0.048 in this case now we have calculated the information gain for all four attributes and uh, if you see this particular slide uh, you can see here the age has 0.2465 income has 0 0.0292 student has 0 0.1516 credit rating has 0 0.048 as a information gain and if you compare all these particular things age is having the highest information gain so what we do is we will consider age as the root node and then we will start building the tree over here now once you select age as the root node there are three possible ages will come that is uh, one is less than or equivalent to 30 another one is uh, in the range of uh, 31 to 40 the third one is greater than 40 over here so those are the three ages will come into picture and then uh, uh, we need to write the subset of this particular data so that is uh, this is the data for less than or equivalent to what you can say that uh, 30 uh, similarly uh, this particular data is for greater than uh, 40 and uh, remaining is for uh, 31 to 40 over here so that is what i have written in this particular case the subset of data for less than or equivalent to 30 subset of data greater than 40 subset of data in the range of 31 to 40 over here and we need don't need to write that particular age because age is already considered in this case now if you look at this particular side that is the center one where age is in the range of 31 to 40 the class is 
all the classes are yes over here so rather than uh, constructing the tree from here onwards you can directly write yes over here so that is what i have done over here but for this one that's the left side we have three no examples and uh, two yes examples and if you go with the right side we have three yes examples and two no examples here so we cannot write yes or no here because we have a combination of yes and no so we need to build the decision tree from here onwards so what we do is uh, we will consider this data set and then we will build the tree left side later we will consider this as a data set and then we will build the tree at the right side over here so first we will consider the left side uh, a tree over here so this is the data what we have in this case again we have three attributes that is student income and credit rating we need to select one attribute with the highest information gain over here so again we will start with the attribute income here so income has uh, three possibilities high low medium over here uh, before that particular thing we need to calculate the entropy of whole data set here that is entropy of uh, age is less than uh, 30 that is equivalent to if you look at here three no examples are there and two yes examples are there so how to calculate the entropy of this particular data 2 plus 3 that is 5 so minus 2 by 5 log 2 by 5 to the base 2 minus this is the second one is 3 here so 3 by 5 log 3 by 5 to the base 2 that is equal to 0.97 over here now coming back to this income income has uh, three possibilities as i said earlier so income is equal to high how many examples are there two both of them are no examples here uh, the second one is income is equal to medium this is these are the two things one is no one is yes here so that is what i have written here and the third possibility is low and in this particular case only one yes example is there no examples are not present over here now we need to calculate the entropy of this particular income so entropy of income is always equal to proportionate of income is equal to high so how many are there 0 plus 2 that is 2 divided by how many examples are there here 5 so 2 by 5 over here now if you look at this particular thing that is 0 yes and 2 no examples are there if you calculate the entropy of this one it will become 0 because we have only no examples we don't have any yes examples here so that's the reason i have written 0 here coming back to the second one proportionate of income is equal to medium 1 plus 1 that is 2 2 divided by 5 that is the first thing because we have equal number of uh, possibilities the entropy is always equal to 1 here the third one that is uh, uh, proportionate of income is equal to low that is 1 plus uh, 0 that is 1 1 divided by 5 over here because we have only one set of example that is yes here the entropy is 0 in this case and if you solve this particular thing you will get 0.4 as the entropy and if you put that particular thing in the gain equation that is gain of income for this particular part of data set is equal to 0.97 that is the entropy of whole data set here minus this entropy you will get 0.57 over here similarly we have to do it for a student also so when it comes to student we have two possibilities that is one is yes and another one is no yes has uh, both yes examples only and when it comes to no all three examples are no in this particular case and if you calculate the entropy of this particular student that is entropy of student is equal to proportionate of uh, student is equal to yes that is 2 plus 0 that is 2 divided by 5 here multiplied by entropy of this particular part that is 2 yes and 0 no examples because we have only yes examples the entropy is 0 here now coming back to uh, student is equal to no uh, we have uh, 0 plus 3 that is 3 examples so 3 by 5 over here we have only 3 examples of uh, no no here so the entropy is equal to 0 so if I solve this one the entropy will become 0 so the gain of this particular student is 0 0.97 that is the whole data sets entropy minus 0 that is 0 0.97 over here now coming back to the next attribute that is uh, credit rating here uh, the credit rating has two possibilities the first one is fair and second one is uh, excellent here if you look at this particular fair examples there are three uh, fair examples uh, two are no and one is uh, yes here and coming back to the credit rating is equal to excellent one yes is there and one no example is present here now uh, the entropy of credit rating is equal to proportionate of credit rating is equal to fair that is proportionate is uh, 1 plus 2 that is 3 out of 5 here so 3 by 5 uh, is the value here and then we need to calculate the entropy of this part that is uh, 1 yes and 2 no example uh, 1 divided by 1 plus 2 that is 3 minus 1 divided by 3 log 1 by 3 to the base 2 uh, and then minus 2 by 3 log 2 by 3 to the base 2 over here plus proportionate of credit rating is equal to excellent that is 1 plus 1 is 2 2 out of 5 here 
and because we have equal number of possibilities it will become 1 over here that's the entropy is 1 and if you solve it you will get 0 0.9508 in this case and then the gain of this particular credit rating is equal to 0.97 that is the value here minus this one you will get 0 0.0192 in this particular case now we have calculated the information gain for all three attributes so the information gain i have written here out of these three student is having the maximum information gain so we will consider student as the root node for this particular part of the data and then we will start building the tree here and if you look at this particular student column we have two possibilities that is no and yes so we will get two branches uh, that is what uh, you will get over here that is a yes branch and then the no branch over here for this particular yes branch we have only yes as the class here and for this particular no we have only no as the class over here so we will get yes here and then we will get no over here now coming back to the right side of this particular tree this is the subset of data what we have again what we need to do is we need to calculate the information gain for all three attributes the one attribute which the highest information gain should be selected as a root node over there now consider the each attribute and calculate the information gain the first in, uh, attribute is income uh, follow the similar process and then you will get the information gain as uh, 0 0.02 for student you will get again 0 0.02 and for credit rating you will get 0 0.97 in this case now uh, coming back to the comparison part that is information gain of all three we have calculated and credit rating is having the highest information gain over here so because of that we will make uh, credit rating as a root node and then we will start building the tree here it has two possibilities that is fair and excellent so we will get uh, two branches whenever we have fair you can see here we have only yes examples and whenever we have excellent we have only what is that called as no examples so for fair branch we will get yes for excellent branch we will get no in this particular case so that is what i have written in this case now coming back to the last part of this particular discussion uh, given this particular new example we need to predict the label for this new example so uh, what we need to do here is we need to start comparing from the root node that's a root node in this case is age so what is given to us age is less than equal to 30 is given to us so we have to go to this particular branch now once you go to this particular branch we need to ask this particular question what kind of student is this student is yes or no so if you look at this particular question the student is yes here and then we need to go to this particular branch once you go to this particular branch we will get the class as yes over here so that is the final label for the given new example for this particular given data set so in this video i have discussed how can we build the decision tree using id3 algorithm for the given data set i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching